Let's just say you guys get what I mean. If you guys saw my entire room, it's so chaotic. <laughs> back to another fashion video and for today we are going to talk about how to style a basic white polo as you can tell from the title in the previous episode of how to style i talked about how to style different types of jeans different fits and silhouettes that would match different body types different insecurities to hide and also different body accents to highlight but then for this basic white polo i decided to make it a little bit different so as you may know this is usually used for business events interviews smart casual events where initially you pair it with like a black blazer but then i'm here to show you that there's so much more that you can do with a basic white polo wherein your event doesn't have to be business related or anything formal before we begin i'd like to show you also that there are different types of basic white polos of course we have this basic one this is my go-to this is from uniqlo super good quality it doesn't really crumple so much and then if you're my instagram follower you would know this polo already this is a very oversized a little bit structured crunchy type of polo there's a print but i super love it you also have this back wing polo there's really a lot of styles and i super love this one i love the silhouette i love the shape it's super unique and i don't know it just makes an outfit so much better and we also have this like i don't know if this is satin but like very sheer not really silk yeah i think this is satin and it's not really super white but i also really love this i think this is perfect for layering because it's a little bit see-through and then also lastly i have here the very asian vibes type of polo wherein it's oversized it has details on the shoulders and all so as you've seen there's really a lot of types of polos but for today we are going to stick with this basic white polo because this is something that everyone should have in your closets if you guys don't have it yet and without further ado let us begin so this is my first outfit as you guys can see slightly basic but not so basic the style so i remember seeing this like type of tuck i think it's called like a half tuck or something i don't know i remember seeing patricia prieto style something like this back when like fashion blogging was a thing and then i copied it and then recently the stylist of hia jin from hometown cha 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 like the character did something like this also so i was like oh yeah i remember that was like a thing and then here we are i think it's a really great way to like elevate and make like a basic outfit not so basic i guess so to style this you unbutton a few buttons it depends on how high your pants are let me just put this aside but for me i always stuck in the side with the buttons because i don't want it like to be awkward like with the buttons over there and then i just stuck it in like this and then put it out a little i have no mirror so i don't know if what i'm doing is nice let me just is it correct yeah something like this and then make sure like it gradually goes down at the back just so that it's not awkward and then i usually like make sure that the button of the pants are covered basically just how you do the half tuck i really don't know if it's called the half tuck but yeah i really love this this isn't something that i would do though for like really long polos because like it would look weird so the shorter the better i guess like maybe if it's like this short it would be fine also. I paired it with a baguette bag and some sunnies, some platform heels just to have that like very 90s feel. I don't know if this is like very mom vibes. I think this is something that I would wear on a casual day, a lunch out, or some errands. I know it looks very extra, very sophisticated for some of you, very elevated, but then for me, like it's just something casual because like any outfit with jeans honestly like makes the outfit like toned down, more balanced, more casual. So for the next one, let's go for something a little bit more extra. Let's go. So for the next one, something a little bit more fun. If you guys still want to wear a blazer without looking too serious with like, you know, the usual thing, might as well go for a pop of color. Well, this is not really, is it a pop of color? I don't know, not really. So for me, I chose this slightly oversized double-breasted blazer that is also structured. And for me, like, not really Harry Styles, but then like it gives you that not really androgynous also. It just gives you that slight sense of masculinity because I buttoned it until the top and then also like the blazer and all. But at the same time, I balanced it out by wearing heels, by having this 
beaded nice bag and then also by wearing a skirt also if it gets hot you can just you know remove it and it still looks good because yeah it, it just looks good that way also for this outfit like honestly if i had the time and energy i would make it messier and have that like nice beach waves just because like i feel like it matches the outfit better and i can just imagine myself having fun having some coffee hanging out with my girlies and all and taking cute photos but yeah i just really really love this outfit and now we are going to do a top out but still underneath something so this one is a little bit trendy actually the whole like corset type of thing with some trousers and let me go show you so this is my next outfit now before we move on i'd like to apologize for my hair a while ago i saw the playback it was messy I am so sorry. Please disregard that. But anyways, this outfit is something that I actually really love. This is my first time trying out the whole corset and polo trend type of thing. And surprisingly, I love it despite like how extra it is. Since there's a lot of things going on, I kept it like with a black and white thing. You know, black trousers, black corset, and then black bag, and then the white polo, of course, and then the white heels as well. And I think it's just like a nice way to keep things sophisticated and simple. And because again, there is a lot of things going on, I think it's best to keep my hair simple for this one, even if I wouldn't have styled it anyways. But yeah, I just super love it. Don't forget to accessorize. I've been wearing these accessories since a while ago, but this outfit just needs that like extra gold glam just so that it's not so plain if you get what i mean because i'm wearing black and white of course you guys can go for colored outfits also i know this is the same color palette as the one the outfit a while ago but this is the only corset that i own these two so well i don't know if this is called a bustier i think anyways this bustier is like in pink a little bit more extra with the whole fluff and all so i think it'd be nice to pair it with some neutral trousers something like this i won't try it on already but yeah i think it would still look nice so since we're done with the whole like extra outfits, let's go for something a little bit more basic, a lot more toned down. Some of you guys prefer this one. So let's go with some shorts that you guys may have seen on my Instagram. And yeah, let me try it on. So here's my next outfit. Very simple, casual, and just something that I'm pretty sure you guys are comfortable with. A lot of you are comfortable with. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know that I've done a very similar outfit because this is inspired by Hyejin from Hometown Cha 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 again. And I just really love it. She wore heels, but I wanted to keep it youthful and just very comfortable and simple and basic with some white sneakers. My favorite. And then also, you know, with a very cute bag. But of course, you guys can still make things a little more interesting. So one way to do that is last year's very trendy trend trendy trend last year's trend which is this like sweater vest type of thing definitely you guys can go for long sleeves if you want but then for the philippine weather i think this would be a good decision to not make you sweaty and all if you just want to have that additional like oomph into your outfit and now i think it's about time to put the polo outside so i have here a very crop top and sometimes people also put this on top of the polo, but for me, I'm gonna try to put it underneath. I actually have the exact same polo as the one that I'm wearing now. I'm going to use this since like I haven't folded the sleeves so that it's not all crumply. And then I'm also going to pair it with a skirt and let's go. So here is my last look. What do you think? I think this is the comfiest out of everything. You know what I think? I think the shoes don't match. Please disregard it. So with the polo being very laid back, tucked out, open, unbuttoned, I think it's important to make your inner outfit very, not really very, but then at least slightly fitted wherein your curves are seen, you know, highlighting the waist and all. And just like giving it that feminine vibe for me because that's my style. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain, but anyways, I know this outfit is very flowy and comfy. But personally, like I would style it with something a little bit more structured because I just like it that way. I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is my structured polo that I super love. If this were like a plain polo, I think it would be perfect. But because there's like a black print and I'm going for like something lighter, it doesn't really match. 
But then, you know, given the black print, I would pair this with a black top also. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Like this video if you haven't yet. Subscribe to my channel. Ring the notification bell. And let me know if you have other video suggestions. And I'll see you next week. Bye!